Hey what is going on guys, Crypto and Cryptic Wars are here and today I'm going to show you how to set up rocket permissions for Unturn. In this tutorial I'm going to show you basically all there is to know about rocket permissions including how to set up ranks and adding permissions in those and using a few permissions such as kits as well. Now first off, uh, you want to install Notepad++, the link will be in the description if you don't already have it. It's basically just an enhanced note editor or text editor. Now once you've installed Notepad++, you just want to go into your Rocket server folder. And inside the Rocket folder, you'll find the permissions.config. Just want to go ahead, right click and edit with Notepad++. And as you can see, this is the default uh, permissions config, it will automatically be generated. If you stuffed up your permissions config, you can just delete it, restart the server and it will automatically regenerate a new one. Now here we can see the default group that basically is, is that when new players join, they'll automatically be assigned to the group default, which is this one. You can change this to whatever group you want, let's say change this to VIP. Whenever new players join the server, they'll automatically be assigned VIP. Now we got to the prefix. So if you want, let's say the group to display before the name of the person or the player, what you have to do is remove these, add that, and then type in, let's say, default and then you want to end it with slash prefix and there we go the same thing goes for suffix basically after the person's name you can add what you want as well but i'm just gonna leave it as black now the color so basically the color chat of the person so if we were to change this to red whether the person types in chat will show a red color. You can also use HTML color codes. So let's just say we want a orange color, like a dark orange. You just copy this hash, paste it in, and we have a dark orange color whenever the person types in chat. Now for the permissions, let's just say we want the person to have slash home. You can add slash home in the permissions and the person can type slash home. If you want to add permissions in a group, all you have to do is highlight up to here, copy it, press enter and then paste. Make sure there is no spaces behind it so if you were to make a mistake like this then it won't register properly and your permissions will likely be stuffed up. But you can easily fix it by just pressing backspace until you correctly lined it up. Now since we're using kits as an example for permissions, if we were to go into our kits folder Edit the configuration and here we've got kits so if we want the player to have slash kit survival then edit this permission do kit dot survival now obviously we're going to need the kit permission by itself so you can actually use slash kit survival and other kits and if you want you can also make them use slash kits so they can view the list of kits. We can see we're on the Wrecking Ball Revive plugin and the available permissions. So if we want the person to have full access to Wreck and all its commands, all you have to do is add a new permission and we're just going to do Wreck dot asterisk which makes them have access to all commands from Wreck. If you want them to have a single command, permissions from rec, let's say this one, just rec only. So remove that and then type in rec. 
Now if we head over to the VIP group, let's just say we want this to be a donor rank. So we're going to take VIP as a sample since it's already there. Now the members, which is basically people who are in the group or are assigned to the group. This is the Steam ID 64. Now if we go to steamid.io We can actually retrieve a person's Steam ID 64 by typing in their Steam profile link or what they use to log in. So I'm just going to type in mine for example. And as you can see the Steam ID 64 which is this one. You just want to click copy to clipboard and then just paste it in one of the members and I'll be assigned to group VIP when I join. To add more members you can just copy this, enter and paste it and you can add as many as you want. As for the parent group is set to default. This means that VIP will have all the versions of group default in it. So if we want VIP to let's say have kids watcher. Person in the group VIP can type such kit watcher plus kit survival and all the missions in this as well. This will basically keep it simple and you don't have to have duplicate permissions from default over to VIP. Now to add more groups, you want to copy from any of the this section towards the end of group. So I'll copy it all the way to over here. Make sure you don't copy the space. So I'll just copy that and then press enter and paste it. As you can see it all lines up group, 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 group and all the way through. And now that you're done adding a new group you can change it let's say moderator. And there you go, you have created a new group. You can create as many groups as you want. Alright, once we're into our server, if you type slash p, as you can see, I'm in the group VIP, moderate, and guest. It's because I've been assigned to group VIP already, and also a moderator when I copied and pasted it. Now if we want to let's say remove myself from moderator, just wanna delete this whole part. Save it and then go into your server console and do P reload. And when I go back, I'm already assigned to group VIP and guest. Now if you want to remove a group of someone that is in game from the console or add them to a group just tap in p add or remove and the player name and the group they are in or you want to add so let's say i want to move myself from vip there we go i've been successfully removed from group of vip and that means that type slash b i'll only be at guest and for the prefix if we type slash hi as you can see the prefix shows right there the default so here you go and just to take note you want to add a space afterwards otherwise if you don't add it then default and my name will look like it's clear and that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys think it's helpful. Please leave any comments or just suggestions on what you want to do next. Tutorials on plugins and all that kind of stuff. Hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time.